Hello, welcome back to the Fish Locker Workshop. I'm going to really quickly talk to you about one of my rods. Now, any of you that have watched my reviews before know that I don't like to review something until I feel like I've properly tested it. This rod I got at Christmas. It's now almost the end of summer. That shows you how long I've been testing it for. So I feel like I've properly put it through its paces. Uh, the first thing, glaringly obvious, it's bright white. I was a bit unsure about that to start with, but I quite like it. The only problem with it being bright white and its form is, as you can see, the handle does get a little bit manky. It is foam on here. And I have, I do clean this every single time I use it. I scrub it off and it is, it is showing somewhere. Now this rod here is 2.4 meters long. I wanted it with a little bit more length than the Nomura Isos that I've been using previously, which were my light boat rods. This is my new all round, <laughs> use it for everything, shore lure, shore light, um, boat live baiting, boat heavy bait fishing. Uh, I've, I do all sorts. I tested it out in every single scenario I could possibly think of, apart from like throwing big heavy weights around because it's just it's not worth it. Uh, it's a 2.4 meter and it's also the 40 to I don't know if that doesn't focus in the 40 to 80 gram now it comes in two sections as you can see the sections are almost exactly the same length it's uh, it does I like the fact that this has got a top screwing reel seat rather than one of the little ones that twists around because I've had rods before and that's the first thing that fails so that's the first plus I have, uh, I will put some video clips into here to show you where I've tried this rod out. Still only a really, really little one though. Just got a habit of just thrashing around like crazy, stabbing you with their spikes. There you go. Nice little bass. Here's a nice pallet rod. There you go, look. Now, some of the videos, some of the clips aren't in videos. I just have to tell you about them because it was just like a one-off session. I've had some fantastic pollock from the shore with this rod. And the reason why I like this is because not only is it like quite a supple tip on the end but it has got a hell of a backbone and i like it because it's a little bit longer i was using namura iso before which i had it in a little bit shorter this is better for that type of work because it's longer and um, the reason why i chose the 40 to 80 gram is generally because i wanted to be using it on the boat for my slow jigs and for my live baits and most of my slow jigs are in the 60 gram range I do go down to 40 gram, but only when the tide's really slack and shallow, but I go up to like 100 gram as well. This copes with them fine. Also, the lures that I throw around generally are like 20 to 40 gram. I want it to be on the heavy side, but the live bait rigs, which is what I use this more, this is what I'm, what I am using this for the most. I use up to three ounces, which is 85 grams. That's why I chose this. If you want to fish heavier, go heavier. If you want to fish light, go lighter there are a few others in the range i have been coupling this with uh, a couple of different reels my old trusty abu cardinal reel and um, anything from probably four thousand to six thousand depending on what size is the reels are. 
like depending on what size the company producing the reels associates with that because i mean these aren't too dissimilar in size this is a 4000 size this is a 6000 size uh, this is a dio ballistic 6000 and this is a, a abu cardinal i think it's a 17 yeah 176 so it shows you but yeah 4000 to 6000 size reel is what i've been coupling this with uh, light bait stuff, gilted breams, it handles them perfectly. It's got enough give in it so that when you've got a shy bite, you can see it, but also when you need to set a hook into a hard mouth, perfect. Uh, I've landed thornback rays on it up to being about eight pounds fishing in 100 feet of water, perfect. Anything over about maybe five or six ounces of lead though, and it just pulls the tip over, so you're wasting your time. Once you've hooked into a decent fish though, it really does bend. I have landed blue sharks on this rod. Not on purpose, I was fishing for garfish while I was out shark fishing and one of the sharks picked up my garfish setup. But I landed it in style with this rod. I'm gonna put some clips in here now. Oh. Well, he's taking the garfish bit. Must just be hooked in the corner of the lip. This is a 40 gram spinning rod. And I've got 25 pound braid on. Me off, <laughs> not surprising. I, I thought it was going to snap. To be honest, um, where is it? It says on the rod. It says on the rod there. Look, I don't know if it'll zoom in, but it says there, unbreakable. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Generally, when someone says to me, "Oh, it's unbreakable," I'm like, "Hold my beer. Watch this." But yeah, it didn't snap. Fantastic. Um, even the lighter stuff, it works well. Casting a lure, I, I I never cast more than 100 yards, ever, in any of my casting. This thing will chuck a soft plastic, uh, 50, 60 yards, it'll chuck a spinner up to 100 yards. Uh, I love it. It is my new favourite rod, and you will be seeing it in lots of my videos. And another plus that I like is it has a little lure clip on there. And quite a lot of rods, you'd think it's a small thing, but a lot of rods don't have it on and you end up having to hook it into the sides of here but yeah that's a little low clip uh, it comes in it comes in a standard little fabric bag uh, i'll lose it pretty quick namura kanji comes in a couple of different colors but i like it in the white 